Hi, my name is Randy Lee, and I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about old school climbing techniques versus the new school stuff. This is uh, called the taut line hitch. It's pretty much the basis for old school techniques. It's what you use to sit in the saddle and not hold your weight. Before you even think about using this knot, there are three things that you have to understand. First, this knot does not work with all ropes. You have to have the proper rope. I use New England Safety Blue Climbing Line. It's the only rope I've ever used. It's, it's a great rope and it's, it's all you'll ever need. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing is that as you use this knot and it slides up and down, it will get thin in here. And at one point, it will fray and the blue will come out of the center. This is safety blue climb line because there is a blue core in the middle. And when you see that blue starting to come through, you know it's time to cut that rope and retie your knot. The third thing you need to know about this knot is that it will work to the end. In other words, as you climb, the knot will get so far to the end that it will actually come off and bad things will happen. So how do you counter that? You have to be aware constantly of where the knot is and retie often. You have to always watch that knot and be aware of where it is as if your life depends on it because your life does depend on it. One of the most dangerous things you can do is climb. When you decide to climb, you take your life in your hands. And with that comes a responsibility that you have to be aware of everything. You have to watch everything. It starts with the knot, but it continues throughout. You have to watch the ground crew. You have to watch the ropes, your, your lines, the rigging. You have to watch the crotches. You have to watch wildlife in the tree. Uh, birds, squirrels, bees. You have to be aware of everything. You have to be aware of the weather, the wind. You have to be aware of the little boy playing in the yard next to the tree you're working on. You have to be aware of everything. And it starts right here with this taut line hitch. Being aware is what climbing's all about. And when things go wrong, being analytical and figuring out why they went wrong is the key to survival. When I hear people say, oh, it was a freak accident, there's no, there are no freak accidents. It's things that happen because you didn't analyze the situation properly. And if you don't analyze the situation properly when things happen, things are going to happen again. And you'll have a short career. So you have to take responsibility and be aware when things go wrong. So what happens with this knot is people start climbing. They don't understand the three things that they need to know about how the knot works. And the, and the system fails, the knot doesn't fail, what they're doing fails, and they get hurt. And instead of taking responsibility for what they've done, they want to say, oh, this is a suicide knot. This inanimate object, this knot, that has been around for over 100 years, and countless guys have had great careers using it, now they're going to say, this is a suicide knot, this is a dangerous knot. That's like saying, you're, you're, you, it's, like, it's like putting a, a guy in the cockpit of an airplane that has no knowledge of how to fly the airplane, and then the plane crashes, and you say, well, aviation's dangerous. No, the guy that, that took his life in his hands without knowing what he was doing, that's what's dangerous. And that mindset is dangerous, because when you use gadgets, because you think they're foolproof or idiot-proof, it puts you in the wrong mindset. You have to take responsibility and don't look for other things to make you safe. You have to make you safe. You have to be aware of everything all the time. And if you do that, you'll have a long, healthy career. So learning to be aware of everything starts with learning to be aware of this knot and what's going on. And that's a long process learning to do this. You have to be tenacious and 
you have to you have to really put a lot of effort in to learn. Um, I used to teach snowboarding and skiing up at Mountain Creek, and one day I got a call from this guy Jan, and Jan said, you know. You don't know me, but I teach up here too, and I've been trying to learn to be a tree surgeon, and I've been getting my ass kicked. Everything I'm learning is wrong, all the information I'm getting is wrong, can you please help me? And I said, sure man, come on, and come to my house every morning before I go to work, and follow me around, and I'll teach you everything I can. And Jan was tenacious, he drove more than an hour every morning to get here. I'd leave my house 6 o'clock in the morning some days and he'd be sitting there in the driveway waiting for me. And he followed me around and he was tenacious and he worked hard and he learned how to do this. Jan became the son I never had. And now 10 years later, Jan is one of the best climbers out there. He's using these old school techniques and it, he's a testament to not only how great they are, but also to the fact that you have to be tenacious. You've got to go for it. and make the effort to learn. Climbing is about being tenacious and analytical. Going forward I'd like to get Jan down here and we're going to do a few more videos um, showing some advanced techniques that work great with this knot and um, will help you to climb efficiently and I think you'll see that this is much better than using the newer techniques. Um, please check me out on uh, YouTube under the names Ropes, Rigging, and Trees. Uh, you can also check me out on my Facebook page under my name, Randy Lee, or uh, my business page, Ropes, Rigging, and Trees. And of course, my website, ropesriggingandtrees.com. Thanks.